Ah, oh, hey. Shh. I'm at the public library in uh, Bergen to find out more about this guy, Vivaldi. He's a pretty cool dude. Uh, but enough of that. I was thinking I could show you some cool Easter eggs in the Vivaldi browser. But uh, to do that, we need to go to my office. So, uh, let's go. All right, let's do this. And for the occasion, since it's Easter, I've put the Easter eggs inside an Easter egg. Just so I can, like, unpack the different Easter eggs I'm gonna cover. <laughs> all right, so the first Easter egg we're gonna cover is open all bookmarks. What do you mean by open all bookmarks? Basically what it, what I'm saying, like open all bookmarks at once. This is my uh, browser right now. It's kind of newly downloaded and stuff, so I haven't done much about it. I was thinking I could cover most of it in this video. So what I'm gonna do is take my bookmarks from the trash because they've been put there for some reason. I'm not really sure why. Uh, and I should know, but I don't. <laughs> Here are my bookmarks, 15 of them. What I can do, instead of having to go to the top left and click the bookmarks, I'll call it the tab and open the bookmarks folder. From there, I can just click the bookmarks folder and drag it onto the speed dial area. And it will show like the Vivaldi social media and the Vivaldi or my mail and calendar folder. And of course, right now they don't have any thumbnails or anything, but if you click them once, they will, or if you hover over, for example, Twitch, uh, if I hover over it and I click the update thumbnail button, it will live update. So I can do the same thing with YouTube, Alg.ano, Vivaldi community, and so on. The Easter egg, open all bookmarks, you right click your bookmarks folder and and you click open all bookmarks. Now my tab bar is flooded with uh, links, which I'm gonna use. So yeah, it's a, just an easy way to open all your links at once, if that's what you want to do. Over to the next Easter egg. ASMR. Okay, so the next one is... Countdown sounds. The Vivaldi browser has a lot of cool features, but one of them is its own clock. What I mean by that is down in the right corner, you can find the clock. If you don't use the Windows bar, for example, or I don't know how Mac works, if you can't see the clock, you can at least see the clock inside the Vivaldi browser. And of course, you can customize that clock through the roof however you want to. So one thing you can do with the clock is to set a countdown. That's what we're gonna cover now anyways. So when you set a countdown, you want to get notified, right? So what you can do is you can right click the clock, go into notification sounds and choose between four different settings. It's uh, none, it's the ding sound, the rooster sound and the ta-da sound. But right now I'm gonna choose the rooster sound. And then I left click the clock, choose countdown. I'm gonna set it to one minute and call it subscribe to this channel and I hit start and we'll see how the rooster sound or I guess we will hear what the rooster sound sounds like in roughly a minute. In the meantime we'll cover the next easter egg. Search engines. So as you can see on my start page it says search Bing. So that's my primary search engine right now but I can easily change that. If I click the Bing icon I get several options like Yahoo, DuckDuckGo and so on. So I'm gonna stick to Bing right now and I'm gonna search for Antonio Vivaldi. If I want to use, for example, Yahoo, I can go straight to the search bar, Y and space, and then search for Antonio Vivaldi. Let's just stick to the same thing. I uh, And then I'm using Yahoo search engine. If I want to use uh, Wikipedia, I can just press W space and do the same thing. Antonio Vivaldi on Wikipedia, straight to Wikipedia. And I managed to write his name wrong, but you, you get you get what I mean, right? So I really like this feature because it makes things more efficient and just yeah, it floats better, I guess. If that's a saying, at least that's a saying in Norway. <laughs> it's more efficient, basically. And there we have it, the rooster sound. That was pretty cool. All right, on to the next Easter egg. Break mode! So there's so much going on online these days and it's hard to take a break from it because you're, yeah, you're always online. But I think it's important to take a break whether you like it or not, whether your colleagues like it or not, whether your whoever likes it or not. So what's really nice, at least in the browser, you can just press break mode like this. And when you're ready, you can just press play. <laughs> just like in a video game. 
Um, so yeah, I really, I really like this feature. Uh, of course, it won't stop notifications from all the apps and stuff like that, but at least you can take a break from the browser itself and the work that you do in the browser. And maybe that could be a step to take a break from everything else as well. At least it works for me and I hope it can help you too to have a break. <laughs> all right, so the last Easter egg. Theme schedule! I've already gone into the Vivaldi settings and chosen themes. So right now I have the dark theme, but I want to change things up. So I'm going to go down to schedule theme to change. From 7.30 till 8 in the evening, it's going to be the Vivaldi theme. I think I'm going to use this as a reminder to when I'm at work and when my day is done. Around 8, I'll be at the office and I'm going home four-ish. In that period, it can be hot pink. Because that's a pretty cool theme, I think at least. And when I'm off work, I'll have the Vivaldi theme. Because it will be such a difference in the color. So it will kind of give me a reminder that, hey, you're done for the day. So yeah. So Vivaldi theme when I'm not at work and hot pink when I'm at work. Because I like hot pink. All right, so that was my five Easter eggs for the Vivaldi browser. There is a ton more Easter eggs and cool options in the browser, which I have probably said like 20 times already in this video. But yeah, you just feel free to explore the browser. And uh, I haven't been through like 20% even. I mean, I don't really know because there is so much to cover. I'm trying, even though, of course, I'm working with the browser every day. But at the same time, when I'm when I'm not at work, I'm trying to like trying to learn something new every day, like at least one new thing a day, because there is so much to learn and play around with. Let me know if there is one particular setting that makes you go, yeah, <laughs> it's like the setting for you. Leave a, leave a comment. Anyways, happy Easter and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! You can still see me. Ah.